Hey, welcome to Performance Reviews, where I give you the review from the technician's point of view. And today we're going to talk about Henry Pet Care. Now, to put this into context, we are in the United States. And yes, Henry's have been in the United States for a very long time. And this tool set is unique to North America. It is different from the tool set you see in the UK. So keep that in mind. If somebody is doing a review on this in the UK, they are reviewing a different product. Now specifically, we're doing a review on the 160 size of Henry, which is the compact size of Henry. If you'd like to know the difference between the full size and the compact size, I have a whole video on that. I'd suggest you go check that out. But to compare Henry Pet Care to some other vacuums, here's an upright, here's a canister, and here's Henry Pet Care. You can see it's quite compact and stores quite well. And that's one of the things when people hear canister, they get worried about storage. Well, that hasn't been a thing for a very long time, but that's how he stores. Now, let's get to what he comes with and what's on board. On board, Henry Pet Care has three standard tools, a crevice tool and a upholstery dusting brush combo tool, which is very nice, a dusting brush with natural hair, and then the stub tube adapter. You can choose what you wish to store. So if you'd prefer to store the turbo tool and say the dusting brush, because that's what you use, you can definitely do that. Um, so it gives you a little bit of flexibility. Now speaking in turbo tools, this does come with a handheld turbo tool. Um, and this guy opens up there so you can clean him out if something were to get stuck in there. It's real important with these air driven tools uh, to be able to get in there and pull any big objects because it is using the suction of the vacuum to power this. So it's nice to give you that. Now, as far as floor tools, they're giving you two different floor tools. This is a area rug tool slash low pile carpet tool. I wouldn't recommend him for somebody who has deep pile carpet or really thick carpet, but if you just have low pile carpet, he does excellent. It also comes with a traditional switchable hard floor tool the pedal here to go between carpet and bare floor. As you can see, you got bristles in the front with cutouts for pet hair and just a squeegee in the rear. The other thing I want to mention is the wand is multi-piece, but it does telescope uh, about an extra eight inches uh, for tall people. Now I am six foot three and I find it unnecessary for me uh, to use it on the highest setting. So it is tall people friendly. The other way you can adjust to the user is this handle. If you see the handle here, it's eccentric. So you can put it for a shorter user like so, or a taller user like so. There's also a suction relief valve built in and it has a piece of foam over it so it doesn't whistle when you use it. Now it's not just the additional tools that make the pet care. They also do some additional filtration. You have a charcoal infused pre-motor filter. This helps eliminate and absorb odors. Life expectancy on this filter, I would say would be two to five years, sometimes longer. Uh, you can go check out um, some of the guys in the UK where they have seen these filters go 10, 20 years. The bag system that they use is a modern high flow HEPA bag. And if you're not familiar with these sorts of bags, when these get full, they puff up like a pillow, and they're easy to change. All you have to do to change them, pull them out, and there's a little tab that seals them up right there. So very easy to change. So you don't have to breathe the dust, you don't actually have to deal with the pet hair. I'll put a link below to those bags if you're curious how much they are. Uh, that way you can see on Amazon what the market price is. Uh, they're sold in a 10 pack. They tend to be very economical for a year's supply. Now on the back here, we have the parking position, tool holders, you have your on off switch and indicator light, and then you have your cord. Now in the US, we get this bright yellow cord. It's kind of nice, you can see where it's at. You can see the indicator light right there, and then it just turns on right there. Now Henry's have a 30 foot cord in here and you have a manual cord winder, which is really nice because it takes away the mechanical complexity of a cord winder, but still gives you the cord winder. So this is probably the most reliable cord winding system on the market today. And it's 
fairly fast just to wind it up. You also have a carrying handle. And for those of us with hardwood floors, the wheels have a nice soft rubber coating on them all the way around. And the casters in the front really do allow him to maneuver. Again, I do have a video just describing maneuverability on canisters in general. Now this tool is excellent for transitioning between area rugs and hard floors that don't have a lot of pet hair on them. All you do is step on that and it goes to hard floor and you step on it again, it goes right to carpet. The included turbo tool is one of the best in the market. It's a Visselwerk TK286. Again, I have a whole video on that if you want to know just this tool, but let's demonstrate it. Hey, welcome to the in the shop section where we actually take Henry apart and show you what's inside. Now, there's not much here, which is what I like. It's the keep it simple, stupid philosophy um, or the kiss philosophy. So you basically just get a cord on a manual rewind. As I explained earlier, it's one of the most reliable of the business. Inside, there's not much to it. There's no circuit board. There's some sound deadening and a motor that appears to be a Domol uh, type. The gasket on this is a synthetic so it shouldn't dry rot and this is why we see these machines last about 2,000 working hours again which is very very long so really inside henry is as simple as we thought let's see how much suction it has now if you're new to the channel i've got another video that explains working vacuum About 80 sealed and about 50 inches of working vacuum, which is really quite impressive. So like I said earlier, this machine's for like low pile to medium pile carpet. It's not for my long, plush, soft carpet here. As you can see, I can actually leave a handprint in my carpet. It's not really appropriate for this but we're gonna see what the worst case scenario is on this carpet. All right, we've switched to our studio mic, so you're gonna hear the real sound of the machine running. And we, of course, have put out our standard pickup test of breakfast cereal flour, cat litter, and fresh pet hair. Let's see how it does. We're gonna use the straight suction tool, and we're going to use the turbo tool on my plush soft carpet, which is really probably the worst case scenario for this machine in terms of higher pile carpet. Right, let's see how it did. Now, when you're using a tool like this and you have large pickup, you want to pull back first and then go forward. That's kind of standard what you do with this. This has no spinning brush. It's not designed to remove pet hair from carpet, much past the lint pickers, which did their job. Uh, but this thin nozzle was the result of a lot of engineering on some previous projects that the Visselwork company who made this nozzle for a pneumatic. Uh, so it does. Uh, in theory, should do well. Let's see. Yeah, no flour. Uh, a couple pieces of cat litter stuck in there. And then it snow... It moved around some pet hair. It didn't really do a lot with the pet hair. Um, and then it snow plowed a little bit of that. But the turbo tool is a whole different story in terms of what it did. So a little bit of cat litter left. Um, no pet hair uh, left, except for where the belt was. Uh, but again, that's that's normal with anything, just to show you anything where that is. But that did really well, even though it's not designed to clean this kind of carpet. Next, 
the spinning turbo tool. Uh, looks like a little bit of breakfast cereal, got snow plowed, no flour, uh, no pet hair, uh, with the straight suction tool, and then with the turbo tool, which is really what you want to use for uh, area rugs and low pile carpet. Nothing. Uh, that really does clean remarkably well, considering there's no electric power brush. And that's really the advantage of these high-tech, new-style turbo brushes that are now included with these machines. They're far better than the ones they used to include. Let's see how its hard floor pickup is with the hard floor tool. Well, I think those results speak for themselves. Uh, hard floor pickup is excellent and some of the best in the business. Now as far as stair cleaning goes, he balances nicely on a regular size stair, which is something I really like about the compact model over the full size model, Henry's in general. They give you this rotating stair tool. Uh, again, this is gonna be air driven, so it's gonna be a little loud. Let's see how it does. Well, that really does the job quite quick. I really do like that the stair tool rotates right there and then the Henry hose rotates. So your handle rotates both ways, which allows you to get on the stairs and rotate your tool for getting your riser. Cord length on the Henry Compact is, as the name implies, compact. You have about 25 feet. I think I said I thought it had 30 feet earlier. That's the full size model. This is about 25 feet, but the hose is long enough that I can just get to my bedroom door from this outlet in the dining room. Now, if you're new to the channel and unfamiliar with canisters, canisters do wonderful uh, getting into low places. You can see the width. Um, they're about as low as you can get. And that's really the beauty of a canister over an upright is you can just get under something really easily. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button uh, for more vacuum content and make sure you have the notifications turned on so you don't miss my latest videos. Now, if it wasn't clear by now, maneuverability is excellent. This floor tool articulates, it really moves around things. You can see it move between my chair legs and table legs, which are really a weird shape. And you can see it fits underneath my kitchen cabinets really, really well with so much room to spare. So really an excellent nozzle design. Henry's tool system, allows for you to reverse the wand and put any tool on the end, which makes above the floor dusting and cleaning extremely versatile. It means even the short person can get up high, adding a five foot wand to your arsenal with a right angle tool. In conclusion, Henry Pet Care really is great. Now, I took a long time doing this review because I wanted to see how good that charcoal filter really was. So something I can't capture on camera is smell. What I did was I went to a friend of my wife's who was moving and I cleaned their apartment with him. I also cleaned my house a few times and then let him sit in my basement for a few months. And then I started doing this review and finished vacuuming. And I wanted to see if there'd be any odor. There wasn't any odor. So that's truly amazing from that carbon filter in there. Now the included accessories are some of the best in the business. So really good there. My only concern would be somebody buying this who has really thick wall-to-wall -wall carpet. It is really hard to push on thicker wall-to-wall -wall carpet and is not designed for that. So if you have medium to low pile carpet, or just area rugs, he is a great value. Now, speaking of value, right now, if you check the link below on Amazon, 
he is often on sale for below MSRP, well below MSRP. At the time of filming, there's an MSRP of $599, and he can often be found on Amazon, sub $400 right now. So I think he's a fantastic value. These machines are designed to last 2,000 working hours, so that's double that of something like a Mila uh, machine. So thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out. Comment below uh, if you have any other questions. I usually monitor the comments for the first week of video posts.